Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. My appeal is for, over, uh, for all of us as citizens to remain vigilant, to remain each brother's keeper, where the state has decided to descend on its own people <clears throat> instead of protecting them. Um, JJ Banda, in recent days or times, has become close to the arch enemy of the head of state, um, ECL. And I know this could be the more reason that he finds himself in the situation he finds in, himself in. But my prayer is that uh, our brother JJ Banda will appear and appear in flesh, alive, and come to be with us as a people. To the security wings, I will appeal to them not to take sides but to take sides with the law. Protect each and every individual. I know in recent times, the Inspector General of Police has become sorry, sorry. something else. Not to disturb you, sir. Yeah. Just come, come around, come around. Um, yeah, thank you. Has become more or less a cadre of a ruling political party. And you care less if anything had happened to JJ Banda. But I must remind him and warn him, the Inspector General of Police is a public officer. And just that, like the way it goes, public officer is not a leader or a commander of a militia of a ruling party. He must remain committed to, to maintain law and order and thank you thank you very much you know we've called upon the leadership of the UPN from President Haka in the HLM. we expressed concern when the president went for the Komboka ceremony at the airport he had a, um, a press conference he literally uh, was addressing a rally of his cadres at that meeting there were various threats issued to critics of the president led by Honorable Charles Milupi, who even wondered what uh, the UPND National Youth Chairperson, Gilbert Liswaniso, was doing if he can allow critics of the president to reign free. Such a statement is criminal. Such a statement is issuing violence. So if you have the leadership at the highest level issuing threats, what will their cadres do? What will their policemen do? It's really a matter of concern. I would invite Honorable Brian Mundubile. Honorable Brian Mundubile, as you've heard the fact, JJ Banda is missing. Our independent MP from Petauke. Uh, of, of late in the last two, three weeks, he's been with the former president, Edgar Lungu. And uh, we saw one of your MPs, Honorable Jinch Senga's house, attacked and consumed by fire within a short period. Honorable Jinch Senga actually even fears for her life because she thinks that that's just no ordinary fire. We've called upon the police to investigate that arson. There is no statement from the police on that possible arson. A week later, we see that JJ is now missing under unclear circumstances. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, I think as uh, you rightly pointed out, um, if we go back to the time during Kuomboka, uh, you can begin to piece things together. Uh, firstly, there's an instruction from a sitting cabinet minister, not to the police, but to the cadres, to take it upon themselves 
and go after those that they feel um, had the divergent views. Uh, Comrade Charles Milupi called upon uh, the youth leader, Iswaniso, and not to tolerate. In short, he was uh, calling upon um, uh, Liswaniso, who is not a law enforcement agency whatsoever, to begin to go after citizens that um, were uh, holding divergent views. Uh, from there, we, we had um, the deputy youth chairperson, uh, Trevor Munde. He went live on social media and uh, issued uh, several threats meaning that they were awakening their party structures across the country you know to cause harm uh, to all those people that they felt had uh, or held divergent views from uh, uh, what you know the the, the upnd were doing uh, jin chisenga lost her house a couple of days ago uh, today's jj banda uh, the pattern is uh, very simple jj banda and jin chisenga uh, in the recent past have been accompanying a former president uh, uh, President Edgar Shagwalungu, uh, who is a free citizen, just like they are. Now, it's the first time in the history of this country that uh, even members of parliament uh, are no longer allowed to speak. Not only are they gagged uh, on the floor of the house, but we see that now they are being followed even to their homes. We live in a constitutional democracy, uh, so, uh, so to speak, and in a constitutional democracy, you expect representation, one as one of the principles, and contestation. There has to be divergent views in a, in a democracy. J.J. Banda has committed no crime. J.J. Banda has committed no crime by accompanying President Lungu. J.J. Banda has committed no crime by representing the people of Zambia and uh, the people of Petauke in, inside the house and outside. What we are witnessing today is the worst form of uh, 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 dictatorship. Uh, these are things that we've spoken about time and again, that uh, the democratic space in this country is uh, reducing every day. Uh, so now from uh, stopping people to speak at political rallies, from stopping citizens from holding meetings, what we have now are uh, uh, politicians, leaders, elected leaders, being followed right up to their homes. What is happening to JJ cannot be detached from the threats that were issued by uh, Comrade Charles Milupi. It cannot be isolated from the threats that were coming from uh, Trevor Mwinde. So the cadres that uh, Comrade Milupi was instructing are now carrying out the instructions from, from the cabinet minister. It's a shame that uh, a minister standing in front of the police could not even call upon the police to arrest whoever was allegedly uh, insulting the president. He opted to call upon the cadres. A minister who is supposed to be directing the police to do their job abandoned that route and decided to call upon the cadres. So it's, it's not surprising that uh, uh, we are now witnessing uh, this. And we pray that uh, Comrade JJ Banda is alive. Uh, because quite frankly, I think uh, as leader of opposition in the house, it's not a matter that we're going to take very lightly. Uh, you know, an, an assault on one of us is an assault on all of us. And uh, I want to call upon all the members of parliament, wherever you are, uh, come to Ibex uh, the police station. Let's converge here. Yeah, we will not take this matter lightly uh, because if JJ is assaulted in that manner, we are all at risk. So we'll present ourselves before whoever it is. Let them assault us now. We are ready to fight. Uh, we will not allow a situation where uh, people can take it upon themselves. They become a law unto Thank you, thank you very much. We will, we will be coming to you, but as a call to members of parliament, as we've heard from leader of the opposition, come in solidarity to Ibex Hill Police Station. Come and establish what has happened to one of yours. Thank you very much for the country. Let's keep on praying for the safety return of Honorable JJ Banda. God bless you and God bless our country. Exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.